today requires three shirts and a hat. Now, for Florida, that's pretty dang cold. I think today is about in the 30s. We have butt space, guys. We have butt space. <laughs> so that's good. It's official. We're destroying the van. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think it fits. <gasps> no. We might have to cut this for the ninth hundred times. Good morning, world. Baby, we have a kitchen countertop. I mean, can't we have Oh my god, what is this called? I don't even know. Do I know what I'm doing? About 70%. Hi guys, <laughs> so today we're gonna be working on the van. It's a beautiful day out, the sun is out. And yesterday Logan and I worked on the van, but we did a lot of like little projects and it was also raining, so it wasn't really the best day to be filming. And so we're back out today, the sun is out. Still gonna be just as cold, but at least the sun is out. So today we're gonna be working on the kitchen and we're so excited because things are actually really starting to come together. We're about done with all of our big stuff, so we're really excited for it. I'm gonna show you guys the van and we are gonna go to Lowe's and get some wood and we're gonna get started on this. All right guys, so it has been a few hours. We had to run by Logan's parents' house real quick and do stuff for our taxes and so yeah, it's been a few hours later, but we went to two Home Depots <laughs> and about $200 later, we got all of the wood to build our kitchen, so. What else did you say we needed from the house? <laughs> I couldn't remember. I think that was it. I grabbed my speaker. Good job, baby. <laughs> Rachel's about to go over the dimensions of our kitchen area and cabinetry. And <laughs> cabinetry. Okay, so the a kitchen unit, I'm just going to start at <laughs> the um, end of the bed right here. And this first area is going to be our fridge, which will be right across from the sink. And then next it'll turn into uh, uh, drawers. We're hoping to do four of them um, all the way down. And then right here is gonna go the stove top, um, which will hold the propane tank and all that, so. All right, so we got the wood cut. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble and get it started. Okay, so we're starting with the base of our cabinets which is 57 inches long by 20 inches wide, which gives us maneuver, um, maneuvering room between the shower and our cabinets, but also gives us plenty of space for our, our drawers, our fridge, and our cooktop, which is gonna be right here. And yeah, we had to cut a little bit out of the um, to notch out because of the van and because of the wheel well. So, it's coming along.
so we have the framing of the kitchen so this area right here that you see we brought out the cutout for the stove top that'll fit and there's about an inch or so on each side and then I was really adamant on having one of these in the kitchen um, <laughs> I was like listen I have to have this in here so we made this area in the middle plenty large enough to have this so I'm so excited about it so okay now we just have to go see if it fits in the van <laughs> okay you ready we really need to put braces on the top of it What we have took a lot of work. <laughs> we and, have a we have a kitchen counter. A lot of discussion, but we have our space for our refrigerator, space for our cabinets to the right size, and our space for our propane. Now we need faceplate on the front countertop and drawers and fronts and fronts and back for this side but we're in a good space we're doing well and then paint them you guys we ha it's oh it's coming together it took a few more cuts than we would like to admit but that's okay. That's that's what happens when you're not building in a square Any place. place. Yeah, <laughs> nothing about a van is square, so it makes it a little more challenging. Baby, <laughs> we have a kitchen countertop. I mean, cap cap. Oh my Cabins. god, what is this called? Cabinets. I don't even know. Okay, so let's trade what's, spots. What's gonna carry our life? Whole life. So this, this is actually good. So this is 20 inches wide. Um, and there's just enough room between the shower and this. So we have butt space, guys. We have butt space. <laughs> so that's good. Um, and then I really wanted to make sure we had at least enough room to walk right here and we do so that's good um, and then I don't even know I'm just rambling because I'm just so excited um, okay so we're going to finish um, the little things on this tomorrow as you can tell it's really dark out so so, okay, so we're gonna finish this tomorrow. Sure. Break down, pack up. Okay. Oh yeah, the mess. <laughs> All right. Our new catchphrase. You got it. Ready for a second day. Red dot on. Good morning, world. <laughs> we are working on the van again. So, you saw the product process of the bones of the of the uh, cabinets yesterday. Yeah. Now we are putting on the backing and yeah. the front face and gonna make it look pretty. <laughs> All right guys, so we are 
getting ready to do this piece of wood. Um, we have it right over here. And we're wanting to cut out a little tiny notch, as you can see right there. Because we're wanting a solid piece of wood to go right here. And we want it to go all the way back just a little bit. So I'm going to show you why we have to cut out a little notch. Because of this little guy right here. Gotta go all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> You're alright. You got it? Okay. Tell me that again. You were right. <laughs> you were right. Oh, I hate it when you're right all the time. Alright. <laughs> Let's try this again. So what I can do is cut it here, like this, up, measure how far it is here, and then this will slide down, and we're going to cut that again. but. Just up. Yeah. Okay. So I'll square cut this out. This will slide down. And then we'll have to cut that again. Okay. But we're keeping the height what it yeah. is right now because that's going to change. Right. Back this way, but I can keep that same four inches as we cut it. Back. Okay. So I definitely like how it just looks like it's one piece. Do you like it? Yeah. It's kind of ugly that it shows right there. Oh. Like that part? Is that ugly? No. It's official. We're destroying the van. <laughs> I didn't like how it showed this part. <clears throat> so I was like, if we could just bend that, then <clears throat> that whole thing would be seamless. And I think it'll look a lot better. Yeah? Okay, let's try it. <laughs> now, we might have to cut this for the 900th time. <laughs> Hopefully this is the last cut, baby. Wow! Oh my gosh! That's great! That fits perfect! Nailed it. Nailed it? Nailed it! Wow! That looks great! That looks so much better than having this uh, visible. That looks so much better. I think so too. I think it was a good call. I, that was down. such a good call. I'm so glad we did. You know what you're doing. I, I you're, am. You're doing this to this. <laughs> it's going, oh, I gotta go to the bottom. Oh, now I gotta go to the top. You got it? But you I might as just, well. <laughs> just let it run. Let it run over. <laughs> if anybody is watching, look up pickle races from Waffle House. It is amazing. It'll entertain you all day. <laughs> what? Alright, so we framed the countertop. To face frame. Face frame. Face framed it. <laughs> we face framed the countertop. So. It'll look nice and neat when we paint everything. Um, nailed it all together. And then we moved this in so we can support our fridge. And then 
we'll have cabinets here and then our propane system here secured in the back where it we won't it won't move or um, jiggle whenever we're driving around and we're about to nail it in <laughs> what's up everybody so we're gonna call it a night um, just gonna give you a quick progress report on what we have took out the cabinet painted it all got that done pulled out the other cabinet it's sanded it's ready to be painted and yeah so really hard day I think we're gonna call it a night let this dry probably set it back up in the van to for security and we'll see you when we finish it all right babe you got any words <laughs> no words from her okay we'll see y'all hi guys so today I am working on the van by myself so fingers crossed um, but I'm going to work on building drawers for our kitchen cabinet I don't know how well this is gonna go I've done a lot of research and it can't be that hard like I'm basically making a box so anyways wish me luck but first I have to get all of this stuff out of the van like I have said before we are working and storing everything <laughs> um, in the van so Every time we work on it, we have to unload it and then load it all back up at the end of the day. So I'm going to have to get all this stuff out of here so I can start building some drawers. Okay, so the first thing that I have kind of learned after watching some videos on how to do drawers is they say when you have your drawer slides these i bought at lowe's they're full extension soft closing um they say to measure the width of these because that will kind of factor how wide um, you can make your drawer obviously so i have these i went to lowe's and i think i bought way too many <laughs> um but i got my tape measure notepad just gonna go with it like I'm just gonna start now do I know what I'm doing mm, about 70% so <laughs> hopefully it all turns out if it doesn't I don't know what I'm gonna do I guess I'll just start over so all right Ugh. Problem number one has a rose. Okay, so problem number one. <laughs> Ugh, it's only been about 30 minutes and I've already. Okay, so I don't know if we were supposed to put the face frame on last before you build the drawers. I don't know, but I think I don't know what I think okay anyways I'm just going to show you so these drawer slides um, both of them together are about an inch so you have to subtract an inch off of that but because we already have the face frame on okay so here is the side this is the face frame which goes all the way down. Um, if you put the drawer slide right here, as you can see, the face frame is blocking it. So what that means is if this is mounted on there, you won't be able to open the door because the face frame is blocking it. 
So I'm going to have to put a piece of wood right here to make it so that the face frame doesn't hit right here and we have room for it to open. Is that making any sense? I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but okay, so I did this one little task. Um, kind of embarrassed to say how long it took me, but it took me about 40 minutes, so. <laughs> All right, so I got this one in there. It's facing the right way. Take the nail gun. <laughs> I don't know why, but making that first shoot of the nail is kind of terrifying. <laughs> Especially when it's just me doing it. Oh, it's so nerve wracking. Woo! Attached. It's attached. It is attached, darling. Okay, we're good. We're attached. All right, guys. So I did the bottom piece of the drawer. Went over there, measured it. It works. So now I'm going to do the sides of it. And the bottom drawer, I'm wanting this to be like a really deep drawer so we can put like our pots and pans, our big bowls in it. So I'm thinking probably 10 inches in like depth wise. So that way we can fit a lot of the pots and pans that we'll be wanting, or mainly of the pots don't know yet about the pans but yeah so this first piece is set so now I'm just have to do the sides and all that so let's move it along all right here we have it <laughs> the box this took a lot longer than I would like to admit let's see if it fits <laughs> I'm so nervous. Not that way. Not that way. Oh my gosh, I don't think it fits. <gasps> no! Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me try this again. This only took me literally all day to do, but now that I know how to do it, we have our first drawer. <laughs> all right, so there it is, our first drawer. Again, I made this one really, really large so we could fit like pots and stuff in there. So it is 10 and a half inches deep. And it's so cool. Oh my God. There it is, our first drawer, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm definitely on this high right now. The fact that I just built that, it's not perfect, but I've never done this before and I built it all by myself. I'm pretty singing proud of myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out for another one and probably get started on that. Also, I'm going to attach it and make sure everything's good, but pretty cool. All right guys, so it has been, again, a few hours. Um, I did build with the help of the one and only, <laughs> Logan. From work. <laughs> he got home from work and he immediately started helping me. So we did do the other drawer. Um, I'll show you that 
real quick right there. So we did do this other one right here. So tomorrow I believe I'm going to do the other two, but we're going to call it a night for right now. I'm going to make some steaks, huh, honey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay, we will, oh gosh, well, I will see you in the morning um, and we'll finish these cabinets, cabinet drawers, sorry. So, you ready? Yep. Okay. Hi guys, good morning. So, it has been a few days since you saw me last. Um, We've still been working on the van. It's kind of a gloomy, foggy day out. So it's perfect day to get some little things done. As you saw in the last clip, I did the kitchen drawers and I'm gonna be finalizing them today. Logan did put the handles on them. Um, so that has been a big help. But today we're gonna to work on the cabinet drawer fronts I don't even know what the heck they're called. Why do I keep saying, I don't even know. Anyways, that's not the point. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be finalizing a lot of that stuff today and I'll show you when we're done. Hi guys, so it has been quite a while since I picked the camera up last. Honestly, I have been doing so much tedious work um, that's not really interesting enough for me to pick up the camera, so. Um, I have been working on the door frames. I'll show you. Okay, so I went ahead and did the um, one of the kitchen doors, so I just have to sand that, paint it down. And then I also did the sink drawers, as you can see right there. So I just have to sand and paint those. And I know I have showed this in like one of my very earlier um, van build episodes, but I used this little guy right here. Um, if you have no idea what this is, I will leave it in the link, or I will leave a link in the description box, but that little tiny piece makes a huge difference when you have multiple pieces of wood put together. You just put that on like um, the outside and it makes it look like it's all one piece. So I'll show you the difference in what that does. It's amazing. Okay, so you can see this one is not done. You can see all of the multiple layers in uh, the wood um, and then it goes all the way down to there. Like you can just really see all of the imperfections in the wood and all that and then this right here is the one that has that strip on it so you can really see the difference in like just how much that that one thing really does make so I went ahead and put these on all the sides and all of the cabinet drawers um so yeah i just wanted to show you what the difference that that makes so yeah i'm going to sand everything paint it show you when i'm done um so yeah and i'll let you know <laughs> please fit <laughs> baba did you see any of those screwed up cut no, you can't see anything. Wow! Stove top or oven, or <laughs> microwave, all of it. <laughs> Everything at Everything that we gotta cook goes yeah. there. <laughs> it fits, baby! I'm so sick and proud of you. You nailed that. I did not nail that. It just covers it up enough. <laughs> it just hides all the imperfections. Hides. <laughs> 